Hey there. Hey there. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Just Like Go was about when I was in high school contemplating suicide. It's set in Boston in the early 80s. I wrote it so you can um, feel like you're walking beside me, experiencing the weeks leading up to my suicide attempt. Then maybe you can better understand what it's like to be young, queer, homeless, and desperate. I'm walking down Broadway, making like I'm looking in the store windows. Most of them are covered with solid grates, so there ain't much to see. It's stupid, but if the guys in cars catch my eye, they get excited and start putting their fingers in their mouths or something retarded like that. I only stop in front of the trophy store because it's my favorite. It doesn't have a grate like the ones next to it. It's an open treasure chest in a steel cave. I love to win one of the big trophies with the round rainbow thingies on the tall wood part. I won a little one at a playground track meet when I was 12. It was only for coming in third in the relay, but I still pick it up every once in a while. Lights are brighter when you're in mess because your pupils get big and everything's funny. I could look at the trophies all night and make up stories about how I could win each one. Take the medium-sized one with the pillars in the back. I should get that for my awesome ability to make who's ever sitting next to me in class crack up. Except for the co-captain of the football cheerleaders who sits next to me in English. I can never think of anything to say to her. Being a cut-up isn't like placing in the state meet. I wouldn't expect one of those really big trophies, but I've worked at it. I did this experiment when I first started high school. I tried acting different on different days to see what would happen. One day I acted tough like my sister Lizzie and scowled at everybody. When you do that, they scowl back. Another day I only said what I absolutely had to. It's not much. When you don't talk, no one talks to you. It's boring. Acting silly went over the best. It was easy. I've been doing it for years to keep Lizzie from hitting me and beating me in basketball. A car slows down and I got across the street. I check myself out in the breaker window as I go by. Isn't it funny how your reflection surprises you sometimes and you're like, who's that? I always wonder what people think when they see me. I think I'm okay. To look at me, you maybe wouldn't think I was a screw up. You, can tell, you can't tell my eyes are too black unless you get close. I'm tall and that makes me seem older than 17. So maybe you wouldn't wonder why I'm out so late in a school night. I guess it's weird I'm out by myself. I could have just gotten dropped off after seeing a band at the Rat and I'm on my way to my apartment. Like that one over there that's got a second floor room that hangs over the sidewalk. Those are cool. You could put a window seat in the bay window and watch the sidewalk parade go by. And one of those funny triangular brick apartment buildings you see in Cambridge where there's a fork in the street. I love to live in one of those. It must be a piss of view from the point. I look in people's windows and try to imagine what their lives are like. They always seem better than mine. Even a basement apartment where you could see people's feet when they walk by would be all right. And if wishes were horses, the beggars could ride, like Maori says. A horse would be nice. Can't you see it? Be galloping down Broadway? The mask must be wearing off because I can't. It's just me in the windows pretending I got somewhere to go. You'd be amazed at how some of the most fucked up people look pretty normal.